Hello everyone, how are you all doing? I hope you're doing well, staying safe, and just having a great day. My name is Black Boy, and I am a bass player here on YouTube. So, a couple of months ago, I did a review on this. This is a Galleon Kruger MB200. It's a small solid state amp, 200 watts, 4 ohms. I use this every day when I practice bass. I will chuck a, uh, I will drop a link to this video up there and at the end of this video. Anyways, I was practicing last night and it's it, it dawned on me. I did a review on this, but I didn't do a review to its partner, which would be my cabinet. So today, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna review my cabinet and also my practice rig as a whole. So with that being said, let's get into it. Alright guys, so here it is. Let me just see if I can't. Ah! Woo! Here it is. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna set this down. So that is my cabinet. That's my cab for my practice rig. It is a Mark Base Traveler 102 P cabinet. Now, all that just really much means is that it's got two 10, uh, two 10 inch subwoofers in there or speakers in there. It's 200 watts at four, eight ohms? Sorry, 400 watts at eight ohms. The MB 200 is 200 watts at four ohms. So uh, just a little quick uh, explanation for those of you who do not know. When it comes to ohmage and balancing that to make sure you have the right impedance, you always want your amp or amplifier equal to or less than what your cabinet is. So what that means is if you can get it equal, that's better. So if that means if you if your uh, if your amplifier if your amplifier is four ohms, you want your cabinet to be four ohms, or eight ohms, or sixteen ohms, but not two ohms. If that makes sense, you always want your amplifier to be less than your your cabinet or whatever. So. Just as long as, as long as you're counting up in your signal chain, okay? Counting up in your signal chain. So, amp four, cabinet eight. That's how it goes. Anyways, so this is, my, once again, like I said, this is the speaker cabinet that I use in tandem with my Galleon Kruger MB200 for my practice rig. As I stated before, it's a 400 watt, eight ohm, 210 cabinet speaker. Now, it may have looked heavy, but it's really not all that heavy. I probably estimate this at roughly 25 pounds, maybe 30, give or take. Uh, that's really not all that much. Now, the reason why I use these to two pieces of equipment as my practice rig is because one, they just sound amazing. They just sound great. And two, they're lightweight and easy to transport. Now, like I said, it, it, it may have looked heavy, but that's just because of where I am at right now. My space is kind of confined, but I'll show you a pit. I'll show you here. I'll put up a video of me holding it 
somewhere else and it's quite easy you know I can chuck this thing around it's very lightweight so let's look at the specs for this thing really quickly like I said I have an 8 ohm but this uh, this cabinet comes in two different styles two different variations an 8 ohm and a 4 ohm like I said it's got two 10 inch speakers it's a rear porting and it has a Paisano tweeter now it's power headline it's power handling I'm sorry not headline it's power handling is 400 is 400 watts which is really really good the dimensions are 23.4 well, I got it right here 23.4 by 13 by 17 so that's 23.4 23 pretty much and a half inches wide 13 inches tall 17 inches deep it's really nice sounds great doesn't take up much space real light what else what else do you need to know I just love this setup especially with my MB 200 you know I got this practice rig because like I said it's light and it's simple and when I'm just practicing by myself here at my house or in my studio, I don't need all these fancy things. Just something real quick, simple, and easy to get the hang of. Now, uh, I, I'm not going to lie. I kind of looked at Mark Bass because, you know, its colors are, are black and orange or black and yellow. And uh, those those are just really cool colors. That, that initially is what got my uh is what cut my caught my eye initially but you know mark base they just make great 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 equipment i believe they're out of italy too i'm not entirely sure i, I believe that's where their main headquarters and and that's where they're based out of. but this is not the only mark base piece of equipment i have my main my show rig my show amplifier is a mark base and I'll, I'll do a video on that another time. Now, I've played many shows. I, I've gone on, on a bunch of tours. And I will tell you, um, with the way how things are going in today's world and how technology is just, is just getting more and more advanced, I wouldn't, I would not hesitate to take this my practice rig out on the road with me first of all um load in time would be it, it take me one trip so maybe about five minutes depending on how long the walk is set up real simple real easy and you know i i can use this cab right here for just the people standing in the front row while using the MB to run, run to you know the the front of house and have that pumping and have my bass pump through the the PA system, you know that's what a lot of people do nowadays. Beat why? Because it's a lot cheaper when when going to when touring and going on shows. It's a lot easier and simple just to have your head run straight to the head of, uh, front of house and also just have a small 210 cab that you can just plop right down in front of you so that the people standing at the front can hear you now like I said I have another amplifier that is my main show show amp which I probably would take that over the MB 200 just because that's my show amp and that's what it's there for that being said as I said it just recently I wouldn't mind taking hold on Like I said, I wouldn't mind taking my little guy, my MB200 right here, out to the show with me and running him into uh, my 210 cabinet right here. So, with that being said, you know, not a lot has been said, but with that being said, let's, uh, let's hear what my practice rig sounds like. So, this will be, uh, I think I'll do three different bases. Um, I don't know which ones I'll use just right now, but I'll play. I'll pick up three bases, 
and I'll use both finger and pick because I, I do play with both um, to run through this rig. So it will be whatever base I'm using, running through the MB200, running through uh, the, the Mark the Mark Base 210 cabinet, being, yeah, being mic'd up by my SM57, running straight into my interface. So let's get into that right now. <laughs> All right, guys. So, what did you think about that sound? How how you guys think that sounds? Because for me, I absolutely loved it. But you go ahead and tell me what you guys think about in the comments down below. At the end of the day, this is my practice rig because I love it. It's just so simple, so easy, and I can move it anywhere in my house relatively with just with just one trip on on a whim you know if I feel like I want to practice in my bedroom moving in my bedroom if I feel like I want to practice in my front room practice in my front room I want to do it in the living room do it in the living room if I want to do it in the bathroom probably not going to bring my stuff into the bathroom just because that be kind of weird yeah if any of you guys have this you know have any of these things out there I know a couple of you guys do have uh, this MB 200 out uh, out there but let me know what you guys are running that into, and let me know if you have a Mark Base Traveler one uh, 1002 cab. Let me know what you guys are running through that, or what you're running that, or what you're running into that. Y you guys understand what I'm saying. Well, that's all the time we have for today. I hope you guys like this uh, episode. I hope you know it was something that helped you out. 
I will, like I said, uh, put a link to my MB200 review. Uh, you guys can go up there and click on the little card over, over here. Click on the little card up there, or it will be one of the videos that you know will pop up at the end of, of this video. You guys have any questions? Like I said, drop them down below because I do read all my comments. I try to get a, I try to answer all of them back in a timely manner. It's just right now uh, I've been working real, real a lot. I I work ten days straight and off five, and I work nights. So when I'm off, I kind of just want to sleep, and then I have to be an adult. But anyways, that's it for me. I hope you guys have a great time. And until next time, remember, I'm Black Boy in a Band, and keep practicing.